about putting and, uh, and uh, finesse wedges that you didn't know when you started this decades ago? Oh, I know a lot that I didn't know decades ago. I, when I started doing research, I didn't know how important the shot was. I didn't know that the most frequent pitch in golf is a 14-yard pitch. If, you, if you're going to learn one shot to be great at, learn to fly at 14 yards with a high lofted wedge so that it lands soft and rolls to the pin. Really? Yeah, because most pros, most amateurs, almost everybody misses greens. Pros hit 7 to 10 wedges around. You hit 15 to 20. Most golfers hit 15 to 30. Uh, and you've got to be good at this shot because when a ball goes towards the green, it goes over, it goes left, it goes right. All the architects build places that catch balls about 14 yards from the carry where you want to land the ball to roll to the pin. So I learned how important the short game was. How far do you take an L wedge back to hit it 14 yards, carry it 14 yards? Uh, I know you're a clock guy. Right, I'm, I'm a, a clock, clock guy, guy, but I don't even take it to, to uh, 730. I take it till the shaft is oh, horizontal. Right. Oh, you so take it that far you take it all the way there? Uh, it's horizontal right there. Yeah. Now where are you then, taking on the other end? I take it through just above that. Make sure I go through further than I go back. That's your 14-yard shot with a 60. That's mine, yeah, 14 yeah. with a 60. Yeah. And it, yours may be 15, yours may, my, his may be 13, I don't know. But listen, I want to tell you one thing is right. when pros come to me, yeah. they don't say, will you help me with my short game and my putty? Yeah. They pick one, right? They pick one. Everybody thinks they have a weakness. And the only people that come to me, if they choose their weakness as being short game or putty, right. And it's so funny because half of the people that come to me for putting help need wedge help. The truth is they've got pretty good putting strokes, but they don't hit the ball close enough to hold to make it. See, it's more important where you putt from than how well you putt. I mean, I have a standard bet with any pro on tour. I'll play, I'll putt you for anything. I haven't been practicing. You practice night and day, every week. Just give me three feet. I putt from three feet closer than you do. That means if you putt from six, I putt from three devastating no no player will ever do that right because if I putt from a foot I'll never miss you're putting from four feet you're gonna miss some I putt from two feet I almost never ever miss from five feet you miss a lot not half but almost almost half. one of the biggest changes in the game over the decades when you came along with your science and math and tried to get players in a room to listen to you <laughs> right. everybody on tour was using two wedges yes now we have Phil has played multiple majors using five wedges. Yes. Uh, and Kite, you got Kite, uh, your research convinced Kite to add a third wedge he was back the first, in the 80s. He was, the, in 1981, he picked up a 60 degree wedge in January. I mean, he'd, he'd been practicing with it in the fall of 60, in, in uh, uh, 80, 81, yeah. in the fall of 80. And he went out and he won the Varden Trophy, lowest stroke average of the year and the money title. And he did that because he had a 60 degree wedge, no one else on tour had one. The next year, the other five of the six that I first showed the theory to, right. they all picked up the 60. And now every player on tour has a 60, and a lot of them have 64s. A lot of them have four wedges. A lot of them have, almost everybody no. has four wedges so, if you count the pitching wedge. Uh, Phil has won a, a, a major with two, two drivers. He's won a major with no drivers. Yes. Is he won a major with five wedges? Uh, Almost, right? Maybe Marion, he had five and came close. I don't know. Close. I don't know. I've never, well, he anyway. certainly had five at Marion and came close, but uh, how, I don't how, know. How do we put a man on the moon in 1969 and we don't, we don't get to the multiple wedges until the 80s? How, how do you explain Well, that? honestly, Jeff, uh, in your first interview with me, I remembered it was in Dallas. Yes. And like I 19, don't 93 think, three or so. I remember during that interview, the frown on your brow because you thought I was crazy. And you didn't believe half the things I said because you said, prove this to me because you're a, I want to see the proof guy. Well, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I had to prove this stuff to no, guys. I'm a journalist, I get lied to a lot. Okay? Well, I yeah, have... I understand it, I understand it. I mean, we've gotten along great, but I yeah. listen, it's hard to get people to understand. The only reason, uh, I did a clinic yesterday with Peter Jacobson, who was one of my students early on. Uh, he was in the second wave of people that picked up 60 degree wedges. He, were, he told the story in front of 500 people yesterday that the only reason he believed me was when he came in. I showed him the data. He said, well, Pels, that's intellectual. Prove it to me. So I took my 60 degree wedge and his 55 degree wedge, and we went out and we hit wedge shots for money, and I won. Now I say, look, 
I'm a physicist. I worked at Goddard Space Flight Center for 15 years. I haven't practiced every day since I was a kid. You're making your living. What are you doing letting me beat you in the up and down game around the greens that's the most important game in golf? You miss five, six greens around. If you make up and down, you're a world beater because you will have birdies. If you make bogeys on those five greens, you can't even play the tour. Right. It's the most important shot in golf, and right. he believed me because I beat him. All right, one last thing. When I teach my grandkids how to play golf, I'm going to take three clubs to the range, driver, wedge, putter. I think it's a three-club game. You buy into that? I know you're a four and three and four and five wedge guy, but no, no. play with me here. Listen, you see where I'm going with this? Drive it, wedge it, putt it, and you will love this game. Exactly. It David, is driving, wedging, and putting. All right, good to see you. And you're a good reporter. All right, thank you very much.